Hey guys, John here from New Relic, and today we're going to talk about how to set up New Relic's Prometheus integration. First, a quick overview. I have an environment running Kubernetes, and since Kubernetes and most things in the Kubernetes ecosystem expose metric data in Prometheus open metrics format, I just need something that can read that data and provide me an interface to query it and chart it. To use New Relic for that, I'll set up the Prometheus integration, which is just a daemon that can scrape Prometheus metric data endpoints and send that data to New Relic. So here's how the integration works. It automatically discovers the endpoints in the same way that the Prometheus Kubernetes collector does, which is it looks for prometheus.io slash scrape annotations or labels. Next, our integration sends your metric data to New Relic database, removing the overhead for you of managing storage, availability, and scalability of the Prometheus server itself. And finally, you're able to query and visualize your metrics within the New Relic UI, just like you do with any other data. So to do this, we're gonna follow five simple steps. We'll download the YAML file, we'll configure it with two required fields, and then optionally, we can specify specific metrics to include or exclude. We'll deploy that integration to Kubernetes, and then we'll query the data. Now to do this, you're going to need your license key. I've covered mine up for security reasons, but here's where you can find yours. So let's get started. I'm going to SSH into my EC2 instance. And let's bring up the directions so we can follow along. So on the left, I have docs.newrelic.com. If I scroll down to integrations, I see Prometheus. Now we want to install and configure the integration. So I'll select this one and we're gonna do Kubernetes. So we'll scroll down and here are the same steps that I gave in the overview. So let's copy step one and this will download our YAML file. So now we have it. So step two is to edit this file. So here we are, we've got the YAML file open and there's two things that we have to configure. So down here on line 70, it says add your license key here. So we would add that. Scroll down to line 84 is where we would need to enter our cluster name. I'm going to pause there. If you go back to the directions, step three says specify which metrics you want to in ignore or include. So let's open up the doc on this briefly. So by default, New Relic's Prometheus integration will send all of your metrics and uh, that Prometheus is generating. And because New Relic's billing is based on the volume of metrics data, if there are metrics that you know are unimportant, then it's, it's really best to filter those out. So let's scroll down to the examples. We'll expand how to ignore it here. And here's the syntax. So over here in the YAML file, I'm gonna scroll down till I find where to ignore. And here we are, looks like line 51 is where we can start to ignore. So it's commented out right now. Uh, but if we wanted to ignore any metrics or specify uh, specific metrics to include, we just follow the syntax shown here on the left on the doc site. But for this demo, I'm just gonna stick with the defaults and bring everything in. So let's close those instructions and we'll get out of the YAML file here. Now, because I didn't wanna expose my license key, I've actually gone ahead and already configured another YAML file. So let's pull it up now. So you can see there's two YAML files here. The first one, latest2.yaml, is the file that I've actually already configured. So back to our instructions on the left, we want to deploy the integration. So we'll copy this, paste it over here, and I need to change this to latest2.yaml. And we've now deployed. So step five, Let's make sure that we were successful. And we can see it's up and running. It's been running for eight seconds. And so now we are on to where we want to verify that we've completed our setup. And we'll actually do that in the new Relic UI. So let's go ahead and do that now. So here we have the new Relic 1 Kubernetes Cluster Explorer running. Let me go ahead and refresh it. And what we're going to do is check to make sure that our NRI Prometheus is running. So let's search here, deployment name and NRI Prometheus, there it is. We'll go ahead and apply it. Here we have it. 
and we can see that the status is running. So we know that the integration is set up. So that's it. So let's query our data and start exploring what we're getting from uh, Prometheus. So to do that, let's go into chart anything. So first, let's see how much data we're pulling in. Now I'm gonna copy paste a few queries here just for time's sake. So from metric, I'm gonna select the count of everything where the cluster name is this demo and we'll run and we'll see that we have uh, some metrics that are starting to come in, which is great. Now, if you wanna see what metrics are coming in, go ahead and replace the syntax. So we're gonna select the uniques of the metric name. Go ahead and run that. And now we can see all of the various metrics that we're pulling in with our Prometheus integration. Let's go ahead and sort these here. And let's go ahead and take a quick look at the process virtual uh, memory bytes. So to do that, again, I'm going to copy the syntax from another document for the sake of time. So I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to take the sum of process virtual memory bytes and we'll break it down as a time series and we'll look at it over the last 10 minutes. Now this integration's only been running for a couple of minutes. We don't really have 10 minutes worth of data as we see here, but if over time we were to wait, we would see this uh, over 10 minutes or any other time period that we show. Now this is great, we can query the data here, but let's look at a built out dashboard to see the richness of what we could create if we had a bit more time. So to do that, I'm gonna pull up a dashboard that we've configured here in advance. And this dashboard is being uh, fed by data from uh, Kubernetes via our Prometheus integration. And as you can see, it's a very rich dashboard with all sorts of data here. And what's great is because everything is linked by key value pairs. If I say zoom in on a specific time period here, all of the rest of the charts within the dashboard will update as necessary. And so with 13 months of retention out of the box, Bringing your Prometheus metrics or any other open metrics data into New Relic makes it really easy to do long-term analysis, including year over year. And of course, we could easily set up alerts on any of these metrics so that we could react immediately whenever something unexpected happens. So that's how easy it is to bring your Prometheus open metrics data into New Relic. And that allows us to handle data storage, scaling, and providing you an environment for all of your telemetry needs while letting you focus on doing what you do best. So go ahead and try out our Prometheus integration today or any of the other open source integrations. And to learn more, check out our doc site.